What's up guys, welcome back to Project Ozone 3. Now, I was running out, I was trying to get some leather until I big brained it and realized that I don't actually have to kill cows to get leather. But that has no relation to what we're about to see here. So I had a extra bucket on me just lying around in my inventory and I came across the antimatter cow. I decided to just take a bucket of antimatter, as you can see, kind of here. Um, and I poured it on the ground and it ultimately killed me, which you can kind of see there. But what I didn't expect is to come back to my grave and see these guys. Now, I have no idea what they are. They don't kill me. Did we kill them? They don't attack me and they spawned after I died. I was going to say, I can't attack it. It doesn't attack me. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Well, does a drop, just experience. Okay, that... He's moving so fast. Yeah, no, now I've, I, I have you on the control. Yeah, so guys, I don't know what that was. I don't know what we just witnessed. But that they spawned after I died while swimming in antimatter. And I just felt like it was pretty interesting. So I figured I'd turn on the camera and let's turn that off. And start filming because I was literally just in the process of... Get all that. What was that? Grapes? Pecans. Pecans. Um, yeah, I was in the process of getting some leather until I realized that I don't actually need to do that to get leather. If you, I can do woven cotton, which, literally just two pieces of string. I don't, okay, literally just two pieces of string. And as we all know, at back at base, I'm going to leave that one there just in case we need to round up some cows to have a cow farm. I don't know, maybe, um... Yeah, we have some silk, um, some silkworms. We can plant some trees and get string so easy. But and guys, this is uh, this is the big one. This is the big, the big one, the big, the big surprise that I'm gonna try and uh, not spoil right now. Although you might be able to hear it. Turn this way. Open the door. Ooh, this is hard, guys. At the very end of our last episode, we were hunting chickens, and we didn't end up finding any. And I know you can hear it in the background. We definitely got some. We got some chickens. And you know what's funny? We found these guys, right? We found four. We found a perfect line of four, literally after I stopped recording the video for the last episode. In the most unlikely turn of events, I end up finding some chickens. And bro, they keep doing this thing where they, they walk in like a perfect line and follow me. And I might die right now because I'm one-handing this. But dude, we found chickens, bro. We found four chickens trying to find cows to get our lever ready for the next ep. Well, it might be cut into this episode Um, in order to get our armor up because that's the aim of this episode so this is a little short intro whilst i get the materials ready i figured i want to come with 24 pieces of leather 24 pieces of whatever and we walked like this way kind of i think it was or maybe it was this way we walked just literally a little way away and we found four freaking chickens dude so we now we now have chickens i kept them in here um just because Okay, that was disappointing. We are eventually gonna need those um those eggs. But for now. For now it's fine. So let's eat up and yeah, I was just gonna gonna get some um some level which I'm I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. Because we do still have a ton of string. We actually have we need twenty four pieces of leather to make a full armor set. <coughs> um let's go here. So Lou just takes two to make a woven piece one two three four five six seven and we need seven of them um we're just gonna 
I'm just gonna do that. I don't know how much it's gonna take. I made three. Oh, yeah, boom. There we go. Actually perfect. Oh no, we need we need some more. I feel like I'm definitely making too much, but you never know when you might need it for something else. Oh, it makes free. Okay, well, there we go. We have the perfect amount to make our... Uh, to at least start making... Our, um, our leather pieces. That's... We're gonna clean this up. We're gonna put that in there. Um, did we put the seeds in here? Did we, put, we did put the hemp seeds in here. I can put a stack away. The pecans go in here. This we can... I don't even know what to do with this. I might put this in like its own. I'm going to put that there for now. In like its own chest. Um, common loot bag. What is this? Music disc. Torches. Shadow fragment. I'm going to put in our valuables. I don't know if we're, when we're going to need that. What we're going to need it for. I'm going to put our feathers in here. As you see, we now have arrows. And that was the main mission for getting the chickens. They just drop feathers. Oh, that's good. Golden apple. I'll take that. I'm going to make a bunch of golden apples. Because we have... We have quite a bit of gold. Um, let me sort this. Two stacks. Uh, a stack and almost a half. Mm, that's not almost half. We have a stack of gold blocks. Um, and we have our sieve level 1000. So it's not like it's going to be hard to come by. Anyway, what we do need to make... What the last piece I'm going to make on camera before I shut this off. Because I do still need to get materials for our upgrades. Um, and it's just not fun. That kind of work isn't fun. Just, just on here. Um, it might be something that I do offline. Um, I stream one day, but for now. Um, yeah, anyway. What we're going to do is make our workbench. And this is the only way we can start making armor. Uh, so we're going to need to take... I think that's to upgrade it. Anyway, we need four pieces of lapis, four blocks of coal, and a crafting table. Um, Alright, we're going to need to take a block of lapis, which is up here. It's going to irritate me. Uh, blocks of coal. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Some wood. One, two, three, four. Put that there. And we are about, uh, that was actually lucky. I was like, uh, wait a minute, that's wrong. Boom, here we go. Here we have our workbench. And we got, we got the quest done. Where is the, I can't remember the short key, so we're just going to keep using the book. That's always on, because I redeem the thing. Am I bugging? Oh, that's black quartz that we got from the village. Let me smelt it down. Here we go. So now that we have our workbench, we can start working on our first set of armor. Um, and we're going to be going from leather all the way to emratic crystal. Uh, for the emratic crystal, we do need to make a machine. So we kind of might, I might um, just collect all this stuff. I might, excuse me, my voice just went, I might make it a, a second story, uh, which does mean we kind of have to clean up our house a little bit, so when we come back, this, this is all going to be stone, because when you hit a, oh, when you hit a torch, if you don't pick it up immediately, it just starts to burn the ground if it falls on wood, um, and we don't want that, we don't want a little, a little shack to, to get set on fire. So, uh, for now we can make, um, we can make our, our armor, so we're gonna do that. Uh, what is it, that, and then, uh, for some reason, right, the leather boots is really weird, you have to put it in the top, or well, I guess maybe that's how it's always been, I don't know, um, you can put this directly on you, but if you put it directly on you, it won't complete it. And I made that mistake last time, so I had to do the whole process again just to get the uh, reward. Um, put that on us for now, so we have some armor. I also wanted to make a shield, because we've just been running around fighting stuff without a shield. 
Is there any good? Kind of fancy shields? None that we can make as of now. Oh my days. Flux crystal. We have so far to go to get that. Yeah, we're gonna make the basic shield. We've got way more wood than we needed. Well, not way more. I got one more wood than we needed. And that's our shield done. Um So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna um oh wait, we're also gonna redeem this before we go for a bit. We're gonna come back definitely, but we'll go for a bit. We're gonna redeem this. You know what? I might do flight. It takes so much to do flight. I feel like if we pump them all in early, uh, but then that means that we don't have that much of a advantage end game. So I'm just gonna pump that in that. Absorption. Well, we already gave it one. So we're gonna claim that and I'm gonna show you how. Well, I feel like I've already shown you how it works, but you have your little ability bottle. Um, you put it in. How do you do it? Oh no, you just right click like that, attach it, and now I have permanent night vision at the cost of some of my levels. It's very useful, but free levels. It's very useful, but as of right now, um, we're not going to use it. This takes all 52? It does take all 52. That's how we got so much levels. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're not going to use it because... Um, it really goes at your food and eventually that starts to affect your your eating so for now we're gonna keep it turned off because the most of the stuff we're gonna do is just in this house um so yeah i'm gonna go make a maybe make a chest go make a chest put all the materials needed for this stuff well up until i think about maybe here up until chain void crystal no that's gonna take a so look let me let me quickly show you i was gonna move chest but this part is like part building that's a void crystal and in order to make a void crystal you need an atomic reconstructor which as a matter of fact might be in one of our villages so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna take some coal and we're gonna go we're gonna quickly run to one of our villages okay so it's this house i'm pretty sure the house with no clear entrance that doesn't have a a, a direct path that has atomic reconstructor which we can see and all we have to do is just throw these what am i doing so much easier boom guys so much more convenient bro so now we have like the easiest way to make the void crystals um the uh emeratic crystals diamantine crystals uh and there's this one and the redstone one what is that one inori oh i think that might be quartz i think that might be quartz so the inori is made from iron oh easy easy we have all the stuff we need now the next step is to just come back here to the village and reconstruct it a little longer than a few minutes later okay so after doing some mining uh going to and from the village to use the atomic reconstructor we are finally back to to super build i guess i guess you could say our um our armor we're gonna go all the way from leather to emratic crystals which is basically um crystals that have been hit with the atomic reconstructor so that isn't the only thing that has changed so if you see behind us there is no longer like a little pond and a little um bootleg uh farm we have now changed our house from pink to maple wood um i am literally just gonna go up I'm just going to keep building up. We're going to add so many levels to this house. It's just going to keep hitting the ceiling. As you can see, we have a little uh, inferium farm going on over here. I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying, and hopefully it will work, but I'm trying to start early so that by the time we get to like really needing uh, superium or whatever is above superium because i'm pretty sure there's one above that 
uh, wedges where we're ready. So let me just quickly change these. Oh, one short. I want as much as these as we possibly can yet because I'm going to just start upgrading the seeds. Um, bit by bit, we're going to get that though. Bit by bit, we're going to get that. So, so far, these seeds here are all tier one. This is the first tier two seed that we've done. I was just double checking because I feel like one of them dropped two and it was a tier one seed. We then moved our chickens out. Well, technically, technically we didn't move our chickens out. We cut our home down into half. If you remember in the last video, it was a, a lot bigger, about like four, that's this mark here. Um, so we cut on half because we just didn't really need that space. And if we do need space again, like I said, we're going to build up. Um, so we cut it into half and then we expanded on the chickens. It's chickens little living area. And we even expanded on the chickens, period. They drop so much eggs now. Like I have so many eggs in reserve that I kind of just smash this and see. Just to see how much eggs we can get. But yeah, that's that's pretty much, and we have so many feathers, I'm so happy that they just drop feathers and I don't have to kill them for feathers, it's super convenient. Um, and then over here, we expanded on our farm, we're going to keep expanding out, eventually I want it so that there's one of each of these vegetables have like a 9x9 nine nine plot, so there'll be one little piece of, as you can see, the water in there, and then around it it's going to be like old wheat all beetroot, all like okra they have, strawberries, corn, all of it, and it's just going all the way down. So that's the aim, but for now, that's how it's going to be, because uh, that's going to take a lot of time. Um, but yeah, let's get back to our armor. Literally two seconds later, this is all the ingredients we need to go from here to here. From leather to emratic crystals, we've been going back and forth in the, um, well, we only really did one trip to, well, two trips technically to get the, to use the atomic reconstructor in the village to get void crystals and then we did the rest of them all in one go. Um, even got ourselves some spares, got a couple of spare bricks, I believe, down here. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that, this is it. This is everything. So I'm going to empty out, uh... I'm gonna empty out our thing so I can carry just a little bit more. Um, eat real quick, and let's let's start. Let's montage our way through all of this. Let's make this as filled up as we can. Oh, can we fit all of them? We can fit all of them. All right, now let's do it. I guess in the first one we'll talk our way through it. So essentially, you're just gonna wrap these around. And remember, if you're doing this, you have to put them back into your inventory otherwise you won't get the quest um the completion on the quest it won't register oh, that's wrong it won't register it unless it's um back into your inventory so like before i'd go straight from here to here but let me show you it, it's not going to register the chest plate oh wait we were already there that's fine so as you can see, it's not completed because the chest plate is apparently incomplete because it was never put into our inventory. So remember, if you're doing this, always put it into the inventory and then it should. There we have it. There we go. So we're going to continue to do that for the rest of them and I'll see you at the very end. <laughs>
the first couple. Nah, yeah, that's so irritating. Maybe I was doing it too fast, but alright. So now we have spare ones up to aluminum, I guess. Eventually I will bring that back up, but let's get back into upgrading this and making sure that we redeem the stupid freaking quest. Anyway, let's 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 get back into it. We are so close. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left to go. Nine left to go. Currently on redstone, which actually looks kind of dope. And that redstone gives you haste too. So you know what? Right at this point in time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make any more. But eventually, I might go back and just start making more armor, just based off of the abilities, the, the set abilities. This is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get back to it. Guys, after all of that, we have to double up because we made a mistake. We are finally on the last one. That's completed. We can push it. Let's get it. Here we go. Load up the next couple. Do the helmet. Do the boots. Do the trousers. I mean, we usually do it. Well, there wasn't no usual, but whatever. <sighs> That's what let's, let's pull it on us. How, let's, how do we, how do we look? How do we... What, what, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Look at, look at that. Look at, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Erratic, em, emratic, erratic, whatever. Emratic crystal. Emratic crystal armor. That's the wrong button. How do I go back? back? There we go. I'm at a crystal armor, 780 durability. Um, I don't think it's the highest. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, let me check. Obsidian is probably the highest in terms of durability. I don't know, right? Trousers. No, actually, it is. It is. It's, well, that makes sense. That, I don't know what we talking about. What we talking about? That makes sense. <sighs> Guys, we did this whole, this whole thing, man. It took forever, it, low, it took tw 25 minutes, alright, 25 minutes, we're ending this video right here, we're gonna collect this in the start of the next episode, but we're done, 25 minutes, which I'm probably gonna cut down to like 3, huh, <sighs> anyway, I'm out, I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>